you just started CPAP therapy with the ResMed AirSense 11, congratulations, you have one of the best CPAP machines on the market. Today, I'm going to show you some of the cool features and pro tips you might not have known before. Hi everyone, I'm Diane, respiratory therapist here at Sleep Doctor. So the AirSense 11 doesn't come standard with an SD card in place because it is transmitting that data remotely. However, some people choose to have an SD card for their data purposes. You can put one into this machine. To do so, you need to simply push in on this little button here on the end and remove this piece. And now your SD card can pop right in. So now it's in place and you have your SD card recording as well. So there's also an auto brightness sensor on the device. If you hold your finger over the auto brightness sensor, it will dim the screen. So if you don't like the brightness that you're seeing, you actually can put your finger over this sensor for a few seconds and it will dim the screen so that you don't have to look at it. You can also remove your humidifier for traveling and replace it with a side cover. This is helpful for people who don't wanna mess with water while traveling or just find it too cumbersome to have to deal with. Just keep in mind, you will be drier if you do that. So make sure that you can handle it beforehand. To do so, you're simply going to remove the water chamber and you're going to replace it with this side cover. So this side cover is just going to slide into the side and now you have replaced your water chamber. What some of you may not know is that you actually have the ability to preheat your water chamber before you start your night. If you'd like that water warmed up so that your temperature is already set to what you'd like, what you can do is hit your plus sign down here at the bottom of your menu and click on warm up. That will start the preheat setting on your machine for about 20 minutes to get that water ready for your night. Another cool feature is you can access extra settings by holding down the blue and purple buttons for five seconds. By doing this, you can access the advanced settings to show you more details in your sleep view. Just please do not change your pressure settings in this menu as those were prescribed by your doctor. In the advanced settings, you can see your events per hour, average pressure, how much your mask is leaking, and you can also see your data from one day to one year when you go back to that sleep view menu. So on the AirSense 11, there is an often overlooked piece that doesn't get cleaned and it should. You want to show you how to clean your pop-out tube connector. What you're going to do is remove your water chamber and you're going to see this piece on the back where your tube connects, you actually want to remove it and wash it weekly. To get this out, there's a little lever in here that you're going to push down and you're going to pull this piece at the same time. This is difficult to remove, so please be very careful when doing so and make sure you're cleaning it weekly. So one thing you may not have known about the ResMed AeroSense 11 is it doesn't come standard with a battery backup. However, there are batteries out there you can purchase for travel or for when you're in a power blackout. Make sure you check with the manufacturer to purchase the appropriate battery for your AeroSense 11. And make sure you give it a try before going on that trip because you don't want it to not work once you get there. And the last thing I wanna show you as this machine has a humidifier cooldown mode to dry out your hose. Once it's been running and you turn it off, a snowflake is gonna appear in the top corner. That's going to let you know the machine is going through a cooldown mode. You will feel a little bit of airflow through the tube while that's occurring. So I'm gonna demonstrate that for you. I'm just gonna run this machine for just a few seconds and now when I turn it off, that snowflake's gonna pop up in the corner and you will feel that airflow. Happens for about 15 to 20 minutes to allow for that cooldown to occur. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel. We have a ton of CPAP content, including other in-depth machine and individual mask reviews, as well as videos that cover a variety of questions you may have regarding your sleep apnea therapy. If you're interested in learning more about the ResMed AirSense 11, check out our full review here that covers everything you could possibly want to know about this machine. All right, everyone, that's it. Thanks for watching. Sleep well.